Thank you for pausing to pray with Luther Rice Memorial Baptist Church in Silver Spring, Maryland. Last week, our Sunday service sermon was entitled, Go Work a Miracle. And we are praying this week about how to put our faith into action. How we, as God's masterpieces, are able to be the conduits for which God can conduct and allow miracles to happen here on earth. When I was younger, there used to be this saying about people that would sell wolf tickets, which meant you had a lot of talk and no action. So today we're going to pray that we who call ourselves believers will truly be able to put the word and the love of God into action. Let us pray. Almighty and gracious God, we come first of all confessing that we haven't always gotten it right. Sometimes we haven't even tried. We come in this moment asking for you to strengthen us and strengthen our brothers, our sisters, and our babies. That you will help us to be the kind of believers whose hands, whose feet, whose mouths you can use to work miracles in the world. Jesus said that greater works than he we would do. So we want to not only be available, but we want to be willing. We trust that in the times when our hearts grow weak, when our minds want to wander, that we will still hold on to the fact that we are called by you. In difficult seasons, in seasons like right now, where there are not just rumors of war, where war is going on, you will help us to be the kind of peacemakers, the kind of people that not just try to think that it's one side versus another side, but we will be there for the people who are struggling, who have lost loved ones, who um, are being displaced. God, there are so many things that are happening right around us that you could use us for if only we would be willing to stop talking about it, but being about it. God, we want to put our faith in action. So we offer you today our hands, our feet, our mouths, our entire bodies to be used in the world. We don't want to be the kind of people who say amen on Sunday and are silent the rest of the week. We want to be the kind of believers who encourage, who love, who are our authentic selves everywhere we go, that even when we struggle, we can admit that we are struggling. Help us to be transparent. Some of us right now, God, are crying, how long, oh God, how long? Because we're going through our own struggles and trials and temptations. And we think it means something. But all it means is that this is another opportunity for you to show yourself strong and mighty in our lives. Help us to cling to you in difficult times. Help us to not be bitter because of the things that we go through, but to be better because of them. To know that all things work together for good of those who love the Lord and who are called according to God's purpose. It doesn't mean that everything that happens to us is good. It means that you are in it with us for our good. God, we are praying in this moment that you will help us to put our faith into action, to not just talk about it, but to be about it. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, now, all God's people together, I invite you to say amen. We thank you for joining us for another edition of Pause to Pray. Please share, like, and most of all, put your faith into action.